support system. I am so blessed and want to say thank you. Thank you for guiding me, caring me. Here it comes. Caring me when I need it and helping me to be the very best at just about everything I've ever done. You are rock stars and I love you. <laughs> to the members, especially the new members of the 103rd General Assembly, if there's any advice you haven't asked, but I'm a woman, so I'm gonna give it, <laughs> is that you be honest and genuine with your colleagues, with your constituents, and with yourself. Have interesting conversations and learn from them. If you don't know the answers, which you won't, it's okay. Let yourself be vulnerable and say so. Make the effort to change rather than silently accept what is wrong. Our position in politics is often regarded negatively, so let's change that. If you understand a policy and it will be a detriment to the people of Illinois and you still support it, that is a problem. Know this position is not about you, it's about them. Represent your districts, be present, be engaged, and never forget why you are here. You are here to be their voice, their representative. Good luck on this adventure, and congratulations to you all. As we approach the new General Assembly, we see historic changes in leadership. Surrounding the redistricting process, we now see a wholesale change in who is leading all four caucuses in Springfield for the first time in more than 50 years. With that comes great responsibility and opportunity. In 1876, the first African American was elected to the Illinois House of Representatives, John W.E. Thomas. A Republican, if I may add. <laughs> 46 later, years later, 46 years later, the first woman was elected to the Illinois House of Representatives, Lottie Holman O'Neill. <laughs> also a Republican. God bless her, she was, she was elected to 19 General Assemblies, serving 40 years, the longest serving female elected in the United States at the time until Barbara Flynn Curry, not a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> she surpassed her by being elected to her 20th term. Today, in 2023, in the 103rd General Assembly, and on this stage, standing together as we did in 2019, when we nominated our leaders, Speaker Welch and I will lead our respective caucuses. I tell you this history because Illinois is and has always been a state of possibilities and opportunity. But our systems of checks and balances is at risk with increasingly one party control of Illinois state government. Long held respect by those who value democracy, our system of checks and balances between our co-equal branches of government is unbalanced and unhealthy for us all, Republicans, Democrats, and independents. We have an opportunity with leadership changes to reimagine what we expect from our state government. We must prioritize the co-equal nature of our government and prioritize fulfilling the constitutional, the constitutional duty one which supersedes party loyalty or providing those checks and balances. My Republican colleagues in the House have put their faith in me to restore and to rebuild and to bring balance to Illinois. It will be difficult, but we will claw back 
in the wake of the worst gerrymandered maps in the country. Yeah. Looking out at the audience, it's like sitting in the house when... <laughs> We're a little out of, out of balance here too, ladies and gents. We must take the lessons we have learned from the past to politically and structurally reform Illinois, providing a brighter future for our families. Illinois families are leaving, and I would say due to the growing size of our government and the byproduct of bad policy. Illinois could be flourishing. Let's put politics aside and come together, work together to decrease the high cost of government and crushing mandates and regulations on our schools, on our business, and our communities. I promise we can do that while improving outcomes, keeping families safe and serving our most vulnerable. Believe it or not, we have 40 of 118 seats. The Republicans here represent a part of all 102 counties. It's amazing to think about that. We might not be your representative, but we represent a part of each and one, every county in the state. It's time for courageous leadership. Leadership must be unafraid to be forthright. So I ask you, Speaker Welch, don't be afraid, bring us to the table. We are problem solvers, so use our knowledge, benefit from our talents, and hear our hearts. Let us show you that any preconceived notions about Republicans is false. We want to govern. So I ask you, please don't disregard our value. Together, Speaker Welch and the members of the 103rd General Assembly, let's look to the future. Let's put aside political agendas and do what's right. Let's make Illinois a better place to work and raise our families. And the only way to do that successfully, Speaker Welch, is to join me to be accessible, transparent, and honest to bring our caucuses together to frame real solutions. Please take note and please follow my lead by example and how short my speech just was. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming today. I, I appreciate it. Our, we, we need you more than you ever know. So thank you very much for coming and God bless Illinois. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. And while you're at it, please leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.